we have a fantastic view of a dragon coming in. Dragon SpaceX late call, depart burn zero was nominal. Perfect, and we've just received confirmation of the nominal burn that just took place. It's a very short burn using the service section of the Draco thrusters to break some stiction from Dragon and the International Space Station. All right, we have confirmed separation here at 4.05 p.m. Central, 2.05 p.m. Pacific, as the International Space Station and Dragon were, Dragon were flying approximately 260 statute miles over the Pacific. That means that Matt, Mike, Jeanette, and Alexander had completed their journey aboard the International Space Station, wrapping up over 230 days on the orbital outpost as they splash down off the coast of Florida early Friday morning. Here in Mission Control Houston, the team will continue to monitor the departure of Dragon as it exits the approach ellipsoid. Again, that approach ellipsoid is a two by two by four kilometer sphere that monitors arriving and departing spacecraft. As we continue to monitor here jointly on the Depart right side of your screen, nominal, you will see. And Dragon, at this time, your go to DOF suits in 4.012. And I've got another reminder here that the big loop will be deactivated following Dragon's, Dragon's exit from the approach ellipsoid. Can copies go for 4.01. So we have a nominal depart burn lasting approximately 16 seconds. And the team continues to monitor the departure of Dragon as it exits the approach ellipsoid, the two by two by four kilometer sphere. And with that, we're just minutes away from the next burn, but we are going to pass it over as we stand by in mission control to our teams at in Hawthorne, Jesse and Sandra, back over to you as we continue to walk you through this process. And we've got a lot of action going on and we've got some really cool views from the International Space Station looking at Dra Dragon Endeavor as it's moving further and further away from the International Space Station. Um, we had uh, burn zero and departure burn one already completed. That departure burn one uh, is creating more and more distance between the International Space Station and Dragon and allowing Dragon to exit that um, keep out sphere as uh, Nilifer mentioned. Um, and again, some really cool views there. Station Eason on the big loop, uh, Endeavor's exited the keep out sphere. Break for Endeavor, Godspeed. We'll see you all in just a little bit. Keneal. And on your screen, you're, you're continuing to see a view of Dragon following its undocking from the International Space Station at 2.05 p.m. while flying over the Pacific Ocean, approaching the western tip of South America. And you did hear some communications about a mic check between the ground and Dragon Endeavor. This is taking place because once Dragon exits the approach ellipsoid, the big loop will be de deconfigured. The big loop is that integrated loop between Mission Control Houston, Mission Control Hawthorne, the International Space Station, and Crew Dragon Endeavor. But now that Dragon has departed the International Space Station, all those folks don't need to be in the same comms loop anymore. So they're working to deconfigure that as soon as we get out of the approach ellipsoid. So just work through some of those steps a little bit as you heard. We see Dragon here getting 
further and further from the space station and getting closer and closer to Earth. And with that, we've received confirmation that we've just exited the approach ellipsoid. Crew 8, Dragon, are on their way home. And with that, Crew 8 has officially departed the International Space Station. It will take them about 34 hours until they make their way back down home to Earth. The crew is currently doffing or removing their spacesuits to settle in for the ride home. And Dragon is targeted to splash down off the coast of Florida at 3.29 a.m. Eastern Time or 12.29 a.m. Pacific Time on Friday, October 25th, followed by the crew getting picked up at sea by a SpaceX recovery vessel. As they rest up, our teams here will continue to keep an eye on the weather to ensure a safe return for Dragon and our Crew 8 astronauts. And though our coverage here in Hawthorne is wrapping up for today, we will turn it over to the NASA team in Houston to take us through the next phases of the Crew 8 mission. Our friends at the Johnson Space Center will provide continuous live audio only coverage along Crew 8's journey home until we rejoin. You can find the audio only link by visiting nasa.gov live and clicking the mission audio link or by searching for NASA mission audio live feed on YouTube at go.nasa.gov slash live ISS. Meanwhile, we will rejoin for live visual coverage starting roughly one hour prior to splashdown. And as always, you can find mission updates on X at NASA, at SpaceX, and on the web at nasa.gov. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you and our Crew 8 astronauts very soon.